Why is it? Praise the Lord, everybody. Those that remaining amongst us, I want to bring you a word, a very encouraging word here today. Amen. And I'm reading out of the uh, book of Hebrews here today. And I'm proclaiming to you that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And today the Bible says, now faith. So you've got to have faith. The Bible says, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be open unto you. For with God there is no respecter of persons. Because with God all things are possible, my friend. If you could just take a little bit of time out of your busy day today and look up and thank the Maker for what He's given you. He has given you life. For John 10.10, 10, the Bible says... Uh, that the thief comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. But Jesus Christ has come to give you life. And He's come to give you life more abundantly. And in Mark 11 and 22, Jesus said, Have faith in God. Many have faith in the government to help them. In the government checks. In their 401k and securities. But if you could put your faith in Jesus Christ today, He is the one that will give you eternal life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but through His Son, Jesus, all might be saved. It is time to look and live, to focus your eyes upon Jesus Christ. And He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So today, if you could just strengthen yourself and encourage yourself like David said, praise God, there's nothing that the Lord can't do for you. For with God, all things is possible. And in Mark 9 and 23, the Bible says, only believe. All you've got to do is just believe. Romans 10, 9 and 10, 8, uh, along about there, says if you believe in your heart to uh, that God that has raised Jesus from the dead and confess with your mouth that thou shalt be saved. And Paul had said in the Bible that if he henceforth that there is a crown of righteousness laid up for me that the Lord righteous uh, shall give me not only me but for all those that believe and trust in him you see you've got to learn to lean upon Jesus you've got to learn to ask Jesus uh, for his eyes are over the righteous my friend and his ear is attentive unto your cry today this poor man cried and the Lord delivered him from all of his distresses and troubles. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. By faith the elders obtained good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen are not made and the things which do appear. We've got to have faith. It's time to step out on the waters as did Peter. Jesus said, come unto me, all you that labor and that are heavy laden. Take upon me my yoke. For he said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light, my friend. Hallelujah. Look unto the Lord Jesus Christ. It is time, hallelujah, to overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. You see, it out of the mouth comes life and death. The power of life and death is in your tongue. And the Bible says the things that Job feared has come upon him. It is time for us to look upon him and focus your eyes upon something a little bit higher than the temporal things of this earth. For the things that you see on earth are going to soon pass away. But the Bible says heaven and earth 
shall never pass away. Praise God. It's time to overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of the testimony. If you need some extra faith, if you need some strength, it is time to do some fasting and some praying because He said this kind of faith comes not forth but by prayer and fasting. You see, in Luke 17 and 5, the disciples came to Jesus and they said, Lord, increase our faith. If you need an increase, Calgary, Alberta tonight. Uh, praise God. Just look upon him and thou shalt be saved. You and your whole household. The only prayers that don't get answered is the prayers, hallelujah, that don't get prayed. It's time to call upon Jesus. For the Bible said, for in Mount Zion and Jerusalem there shall be deliverance. You've got to cry out to Jesus Christ. You've got to cry aloud. The Bible said, hallelujah, that if you would cry out, His ear is attentive unto your cry, and the hand of the Lord is not short, my friend. Praise God. He'll never leave you, and He will never forsake you. He'll never seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging bread. The Lord will always rescue you. He will send down a line and rescue you and deliver you. The Lord wants to bring you out so He can bring you in. The Bible says in Hebrews, Habakkuk 2 and 4, that the just shall live by faith. But He said, if any man draw back, He said, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. My friend, where would you go today if you were to die? Praise God. Where would you go today if you stepped out? Hallelujah of this earth. Hallelujah. It is time to make your calling in the election sure, my friend. And the Lord said, if you do these things, you will never fail. If you can focus your eyes upon something a little bit higher, if you can only believe in the supernatural today, my friend, praise God, there's no distance what God can do. Hallelujah. What He's done for others, my friend, He will do for you right here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It is evident the just shall live by faith. But the Bible says, if any man drop back, he says, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. He that comes to God must believe that he is a rewarder and of those that diligently seek him. Because without faith, it's impossible. My friend, it's impossible to, to please him. We walk by faith, my friend, and not by sight. For he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. The eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ear is attentive unto your cry. This poor man cried and the Lord delivered me. Hallelujah. When Zion travails, the Bible said, they brought forth sons and daughters. The Lord wants us to cry aloud and spare not Hallelujah. He's waiting to hear your prayer. The prayer of faith shall reveal the faith of God. And he said, if you have any needs, call the elders of the church and gather them together and anoint them with oil and pray the prayer of faith over them. It's time to pray the prayer of faith. Hallelujah. To focus your eyes upon him. Because without faith, we can't praise him. The Bible states, Lo, I come in the volume of this book. You see, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. You have got to have the Word of God being preached underneath the anointing. Amen. The Word of God, hallelujah, it preached under the new anointing will break every yoke and set the captive free. It's time to overcome. The book of Revelations, my friend, is is written to the overcome. We got to overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And the testimony of the Lord is sure that the Lord knows those that are His. But the Spirit, there's a Spirit in man. The inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. You'll find that in the book of Job, my friend. We walk by faith and not by sight. It's time to only believe. 
Hallelujah. Forsake that which is behind you and look forward and go straight forward. Put your foot down like Joshua and Caleb in the Bible and the Lord says you will inherit the land. The willing and the obedient, my friend, shall inherit the land. Amen. It's time to receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask Him into your heart today. Praise God. God, the, the weapons of your warfare are not carnal, my friend, but they're mighty through God, through the pulling down of strongholds, through the casting down of every evil imagination and anything that exalts itself against God. You see, the Bible says, put you on the full armor of God that you will be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. You see, in this world, we're going to have tribulation, we're going to have trials, and we're going to have tests, but we overcome these tests and the Lord brings us through. He seeds us with the word. He's going to gather the seed into the garner, but in the, in the He's going to burn up the chaff and separate the wheat from the chaff. There's a midnight cry coming, my friend. Praise God, the bridegroom comes. In the book of Matthew 25, the Lord came at a dark hour. You don't know what time the Lord is going to come. He comes as a thief in the night, my friend. And he said, as the days of Noah were, he said, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. He warned us that there would be wars and rumors of wars. The Lord warned us there would be fearful sights, uh, that there will be blood, fire, and vapor of smoke. Uh, the Lord wound us earthquakes and plagues and pestilence uh, as the fourth sword judgment comes and is released on the land. Revelation 6 uh, the white horse uh, and the black horse, the grizzly horse uh, and as the seals are opened my friend and the trumpet is being blown, it's time to assemble the body of Christ together as you see my friend that day approach how much more we need to assemble ourselves together and come together in the unity of the faith and the bond of the perfection. And it's time to grow up in the full stature of the Son of God. First the blade, my friend, then the ear. He said, and then the full corn in the ear. The earth brings forth fruit of herself. Some 60, some 30, and some 100 fold. But in the book of Mark, he said, at this time, a 100 fold full-fledged sons of God are going to come forth. Uh, now are you the sons of God and it does not yet appear what you shall be. But when you know that He shall appear, you shall see Him as He is, my friend. For as He is, so are we in this present world. Uh, troubled, perplexed on every side and cast down but not forsaken, my friend. Always yeah, 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 the body yeah, 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 yeah. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, hallelujah. That the faith the faith of Jesus Christ might be manifested in our mortal flesh, my friend. Praise God, because greater is He that's in me than He that's in the world. And I'm here to tell you today that God is in Christ to reconcile us back to Him. Amen. There's a reconciliation taking place. There's a word of God being preached. The trumpet is being blown. The Lord says in Matthew and Luke 14 to go into the highways and to go into the hedgeways and compel them to come in that my house might be filled. So it's time to be filled with His Spirit. For the Spirit of God strolls upon the earth uh, looking for a people. The army of God is being assembled. Joel saw people that climbed the walls like men of war, my friend. God saw a people that was going to come forth uh, with the Spirit and the power of Elijah. And not only just the Spirit and power of Elijah, my friend, we need a double portion of the Holy Ghost. And that with fire, it's not enough. Hallelujah. Just to be baptized in water and go to a church. You must be born again. Make no mistake about it. Marvel not, my friend. You must be born again. That which is the flesh is flesh. But that which is the spirit is spirit. Do you know where you're going to go today? It's time to make your calling and election sure. If you do these things, you will never fall. Because there's a flood that's going to be released upon planet earth. Praise God as in the day. Days of Noah, there was a flood of mankind. But in the book of Revelation 12, the Bible says a flood came out of the dragon's mouth, and three unclean spirits are going to be leashed 
on planet earth and woe be unto the inhabitants of the earth and sea my friend for the devil has come down unto Calgary Alberta having great wrath because he knows that he has a but a short time we got a short time here on earth and it's time to cry out to the Lord Jesus Christ for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord my friend shall be delivered for in Mount Zion in Jerusalem there shall be deliverance this is the word that we bring to you today we bring to you faith it's a walk of faith it's not of works my friend but it's grace through faith you are saved start your walk with Jesus Christ today and make your calling and election sure it's time to get fortified and be upon the rock in the book of Matthew 7 about 28 those that build upon the rock Hallelujah, when the rains descended and the floods came and the winds blew upon that house, they won't fall. But those that didn't take heed to the sayings of the Lord, why well, call you him Lord, Lord, and do not the things which he says. Praise God, you've got to be built upon the rock. Upon this rock, my friend, the gates of hell can't prevail against it. He said what we bind on earth is bound on and in heaven and what we loose on earth as loosed in heaven he gives us power and authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and mark Matthew 8 16 said when Eden's was come he had cast out many devils and healed many that were sick this is the calling of the disciple of Jesus Christ a sent one a called one a chosen one it's time to be about our father's business Jesus at the age of 12 years old was about the father's business doing good and he was anointed to preach the gospel you see when Jesus come out of the wilderness he conquered every devil and he put behind him the devil so it's time for us to say get thee behind me Satan that man shall not live by bread alone my friend but by every word that proceeds forth out of the mouth of God heaven and earth will pass away but this right here my friend will never pass away it's time to be built upon the rock that Jesus said upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell can't prevail against it praise God make your calling and election sure focus your eyes upon the prize of the high calling of Jesus Christ my friend it's time to press towards a high calling do you see once you're called into the army of God it's a high calling there's no other calling no other earthly crown that you can receive this is the incorruptible crown some strive for the masteries to receive a corruptible crown but this is an incorruptible crown eternal life for my friend the wages of sin is death but he said that the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You see, if you sin, you die under Adam. For when Adam all died, but in Jesus, one man's obedience to the cross, many were made righteous. The Lord is raising up such a people as this. It's time to walk this walk by faith. My word to you today, Calgary, Alberta, is to get in the boat. And be like Jesus when he called Peter out of the boat. It's time to walk on water. Hallelujah. It's time to exercise your faith. He told the disciples, where is your faith? You put faith in this. You put faith in money. You put faith in securities. But what about the eternal word of God? What about reading his word? What about focusing his eyes upon things above and not on things beneath? For that which is of the earth is earthly. But that which is of the spirit is of the spirit. Praise God. Where the wind blows, you hear the sound thereof but you cannot tell whence it comes or whither it goes my friend so is everyone that is born of the spirit you must be born again you see when you receive Jesus in your heart John the Baptist preached the repentance and the remission of sins but he said there comes one mightier than I he said who shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and that was fire the Lord wants us to have that fire to burn out the chaff and the, uh, the, it's an unquenchable fire to burn up the chaff to gather the wheat into the garner and burn up the chaff of the unquenchable fire you see there's a gathering together of the elect my friend 
There's a separation going on. In Matthew 25, said there was a midnight cry and the day of the voice. He said of the seventh day messenger as he began to speak, as he, be, as he declared the end of the times and the trumpet was being blown. The Bible said as he declared the mystery to his servants, the prophets, that surely the Lord God will do nothing but reveals his secrets to the servants, the prophets. It believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. He said there was a five-fold ministry that was going to come forth. First the apostles and then prophets and then teachers and evangelists and pastors and health ministry. Nine gifts in the church and five mighty signs to back us up and finish the deal. Praise God. And he said without the, the gifts in God are without repentance. That means when God calls you into his army, praise God, you can't back out from it. Do not evade the mission that God has given you upon earth. It's time to be obedient. You see, Jonah evaded the mission of God. Hallelujah. And he sought a pleasure ship to flee from the presence of the Lord. But praise God, in the belly of hell, he said, in the belly of that great whale, he began to cry out and focus his eyes upon Jerusalem and cry out that fish, forming it up. And then he done the work of the Lord. Search and try your own ways and let us return to the archbishop of our souls and let the Lord heal you and let the, the Lord deliver you. You see, he's got many gifts for you. Praise God, he loads us with benefits. Uh, the benefits of Jesus. Uh, he wants to date, load us daily with these benefits. The Lord says, ask and you shall receive. Only seek, my friend, and you shall find. The Bible says, everyone that asks receive it and how much more shall your father which is in heaven give you good gifts to them that love him you see he loves you with an everlasting love for god so loved the world my friend that he gave his only begotten son for you it should have been us on that cross Hallelujah. But Jesus died on the cross for you. It should have been us that paid the penalty for sin because he was the sinless one. Praise God. But by so doing, when Jesus went to the cross, uh, hallelujah, he died and went and preached to the spirits in prison. And he began to set the captive free and take off the gates of hell because the Bible says that the gates of hell cannot prevail against this. You see, I stand on a solid rock here today, my friend, and I'm proclaiming boldly, greater is he that's within me than he that's within the world. God in Christ and Christ in us by the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, it's all by faith. If I could get anything across to you today, this afternoon, praise God in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, I'm telling you, you need to walk by faith. Have the faith of God. He says, ask anything in my name and I will do it that the Father, my friend, may be glorified in the Son. Hallelujah. We love you out there and we'll continue to pray for the ministry, the street ministry right here in Calgary, Alberta and the ones that are in bonds and in prisons. We ask the Lord to give complete freedom to them in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you don't have a church to attend to, then we ask you to get a hold of Brother Arthur. Praise God and gather in. The Bible says gather in. There's 99 is safe in the fold. It's time to gather in the people of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord richly, wonderfully bless you and keep Jesus in your heart and spread the message of hope. This is a dying world out here and Jesus Christ must be lifted up upon that pole. For he said, if I, only I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Thank you, Jesus. May God richly bless you, brothers and sisters. Amen.